Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Hello my darlings, how you all doing? I hope you're all okay Welcome back to another video Happy Monday, start of another week Nearly into March We'll soon be seeing the spring lambs in the field and the sun shining and all the buds coming on the trees and the blossom. Oh, I'm so ready for some nice weather. It's been terrible here again. Freezing cold. Minus three last night. Bloody hell. Bring on the summer. Anyway, I hope you're all okay. Uh, yeah, it's a get ready with me video. And in this video, I am going to be working with irresistible me again i have worked with them before but this time they've sent me a beautiful wig and it's a vegan fiber wig it's 22 inches long and it's a bouncy blowout with bangs in it it's absolutely stunning and i can't wait to try it on but before we get into trying the wig on i'm going to put some makeup on you know just to complete the look but i have got a discount code for you for irresistible me i'll leave it on the screen here if you want to go and check them out they do clipping hair extensions they do taping hair extensions they do fi uh, vegan fiber wigs they do real hair wigs they do uh, toppers you know if you're going a bit thin on the top clipping toppers ponytails they have got so much really beautiful stuff on their website and the hair is really really good quality even the synthetic um hair is really really good quality so yeah thank you irresistible me for working with me again in this video and sending me this beautiful wig i can't wait to style it up so before we do that let's get some makeup on my face now what I'm going to do today, I'm going to try the underpainting method. I've been seeing it everywhere on TikTok. I did do it slightly the other day, you know, when I put all my um, product on first and then blended it out. But we're going to go in a little bit heavier today and then use the foundation on a brush to blend everything out. So I've done my skin prep, I've cleansed, I've toned, I've moisturised, I've got my eye cream on. And I've also got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base on as well. So my skin is all lovely and glowy. So the first thing we're going to do is go in with contour. And this is the foundation and contour stick from Primark. And this is in the shade Chai. And we're just going to place this where we would normally place our contour. I've got my mirror over here. So if I'm looking this way, that's why. <laughs> So, contour, the shade Choi, and I'm just going to put it where I would normally, but I'm going to be a little bit heavier handed, so just a little bit darker than I would normally, and I'm just going to bring it across my forehead, like so, and then here, where I would normally contour, this is where I'm going to put it all today, and then I'm just going to do a little bit along the jawline, little bit under the bottom lip, nose, and I'm also going to put a little bit on the corners of my eye. So that's the contour in place, and as I always say, trust the process. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Fine Concealer from Fine Art Beauty. So I'm just going to put some concealer on. So where I would normally, so here on the forehead, down the centre of the nose, under the eye. And as I say, I am going in a little bit heavier today. I wouldn't normally put this much concealer on, but we're going to be blending it right out. Outer corners, chin, high point of the chin. And then I'm going to put a little bit here just to lift the mouth a little bit round the nose where it's a bit red. And then underneath the contour. Next is cream blusher. And I'm going to be using the P. Louise blush today. I do like this um, Sheen, She Glam one, but it's a little bit pale. So I'm going to go in with this one. And it's in the shade 
legally pink it's a really nice baby pink so I'm just going to put that between the contour and the foundation just squeeze a little bit into the sponge like so and then I think today I might try this new Dior Capture Total Super Potent Serum Foundation. Les bought me this for Christmas. This is in the shade 3N and I haven't tried it yet. So I'm hoping that the shade is going to be okay. This is what it looks like. Look at the packaging. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be an okay match for my skin in this neutral shade. It's a little pump. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pump a little bit into the palm of my hand. Just a couple of pumps like so. And then I'm going to get, uh, where is it? This brush that came with my HMB skin tint. And I'm going to use this to go all over my face and blend it all out. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go into this foundation on my hand and I'm going to really soak the brush. And then we're just going to use this brush to blend everything out, okay? So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way down like I did in the last video. But this is a little bit heavier, so here we go. I'll probably speed this little bit up so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to be going in circular motions and blending everything out. I think I'll start with the lighter first. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Everything reminds me of you, I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind and that's everything blended out. I'll tell you what, this method is so nice. I didn't put any more foundation on my hand. I used every bit there, just dabbing in with the excess that was on my hand and blending everything out. I have brought it down my neck a little bit. I always do. Just blend that out a bit more. That's it, just blend it down the neck. Perfect. This technique is so quick, it's so simple, it's so easy. And for mature skin, it works as well. It really does. I really like that foundation. It's a perfect match. Love that. It's beautiful. I'll leave it linked below if you want to go and check it out. They've got a lot of shade ranges in that as well. And it, it's beautiful. Really, really nice. So, yeah, you can see everything is just perfectly blended. And it's not like heavy and thick on your face because you've just got one layer on. And now all you do is just go in with your powder products to set everything. So that's what we're going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is set my under eyes with the beauty crop pink powder which as you guys know is my absolute favorite so we're going to do that first with the trigwell sponge powder puff even i always say sponge and then we're just going to take some on the powder puff get rid of the excess and just powder the under eye first and this powder just brightens up the under eye so much look at that beautiful and we're just going to let that sit i'll brush it off in a little while my favorite powder but you'll know this if you've been here a while <laughs> next we are going to do um blusher so i'm just going to go in now we'll do bronzer first with the charlotte tilbury bronzer in shade three medium this is my favorite bronzer it's beautiful warm color so we're just going to warm up a little bit now and just powder down where we've done the cream contour and then powder blush is the made by mitchell pressed blush in the shade rose it's a really beautiful pink colour. Love this. And then we're just going to put a bit of blusher on. Love that. 
and then I am going to set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm just going to carve this out a little bit down here, round the T-zone and then just brush off the excess powder. And that is your flawless base done. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So underpainting does work on mature skin. Give it a go and let me know in the comments if you're going to give it a go and let me know how you get on. So I'm just going to quickly finish the rest of my face. I'm going to uh, just put a bit of, um, where is it? A bit of colour on my eyes and I'm just going to use this Primark blusher and where's my fluffy brush? Little fluffy brush and I'm just going to sweep this outer colour over the lids. It's a really nice, like, blushy, beigey colour. And I'm just going to put that all over the lids. Super quick, super easy. And then just buff it out. And then the lighter colour I'm just going to put in the centre of my lid. Just where the light catches. And under the brow bone. Right, I'm just going to quick fill in my brows with my, um, yeah, brow sketch from Primark. I have already set them with the By LA brow, brow gel, brow sculpt. I've already set them with that and I'm just going to lightly fill them in. That's it, that's brows done. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of tight lining. My Sorry about the light change, my uh, <laughs> my battery's just gone in my light. So I'm just going to tight line with this um, uh, L'Oreal Infallible Black Eyeliner. Just done a, a little inner corner wing. Mascara L'Oreal Panorama in brown. Love this one. Mascara done. And then lip combo, favourite one at the moment, is um, this Primark pencil, lip pencil in Peony. Just give it a little sharpen. So I'm just going to line my lips. I love that colour. Such a perfect, natural pinky nude and then on top is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade Koi Zero. I don't know whether it's two zero, yeah, two zero Koi. Love it. Perfect. And then of course we want this light. Oh I know what I forgot. I have forgotten highlight. So I'm just going to use this little milk makeup highlighter. It's really sweet and it's like a goldy colour. So we're just going to put a bit of that up here and then just press it in. A bit on the end of the nose. Really like that. And they're so cute. <laughs> so that is the look done. And of course, we want it to stay in place all day. So we have to use the L'Oreal Infallible 3 Second Setting Spray. This stuff is incredible. It really is. It's dry. In three seconds, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Right, now for the start of the show, <clears throat> I'm going to put this wig on. So, I'm going to show you, show you the wig. Oh, dropped it. So, it comes in this gorgeous little tub. And this is what the wig looks like. Now, I think it might have... So now I've never had one like this before with the lace on and you're supposed to glue, cut the lace and glue it to your head. Look at this. Oh, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. 
Now, I'm not sure how to do this because I haven't got any glue. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the lace for now and um, just put it on just for the effect. But I am going to get some proper glue because I've never had one of these before. But let me show you how I install it and then I'll just cut the lace and put it on so I'll make sure that my hair is all scraped back let me just tidy up my little station a little bit let's see and then I'll just get a little elastic and I'll tie it in a low ponytail like so and then wig cap is essential you must wear a wig cap underneath and then I just put on the wig cap and tuck the ponytail inside the wig cap. How flattering. <laughs> and then just make sure that all the sides are tucked in. I bring it up my hairline. I mean you can leave it over your ears like so if you want to, if it's a long wig. But what I tend to do is put it just behind my ears, just making sure. Oh, sorry, I'm looking in this mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Just making sure everything is tucked in, like so. Now I'm just going to cut the lace off this wig. Inside this wig, look, it's got combs. Can you see? So you can push those in for even more stability. And then it's got this strap as well that you can adjust to make it fit your head, which is really, really good. So let's put this wig on and see what it looks like. Wow, look at that. Now I have cut the lace, but you can't see it. You can't see it at all. You really can't see the lace at all. So I've cut it quite close. So I probably won't bother gluing this to my head because that band at the back that's inside feels so secure. And it's so stretchy. Oh my God, I love this wig. This bouncy blowout, it's beautiful. And I just love a wig to change up you look, so you could move it over to the side a little bit more like that. I mean, look at that. I don't even look like the same person. It's absolutely stunning. Let's put some earrings in. <laughs> Just to finish the look, it's beautiful, this wig is. It, oh, my word. It's stunning. It feels really comfortable as well with that, um, that band at the back. Because it's so stretchy, it just, it just fits, it just fits, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it, look how long it is, I'll just tilt it down a little bit. Look at the length on that, beautiful, bouncy, blow dry, that is stunning. I am obsessed. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Irresistible Me, for sending this beautiful, gorgeous wig out to me. I feel a million dollars. I really, really do. It's stunning. Oh, gosh. And if you haven't tried wigs before, they're just a really, really fun way to elevate your look, you know, and just change just change it instantly it's like you put on like another persona you're another person it's fab I've, I've got quite a few wigs so I am gonna do um a video I've said this already but I have got a full face on now so I might even film it you know um like five wigs five different looks kind of thing so I might just film it while I'm sat here but I can't recommend this enough. It's so soft. 
Now, I am going to get a wide tooth comb. I haven't got one here at the moment. And maybe just brush through so it just falls even more, you know, loose. But I am just running my fingers through it at the moment. And it, it's falling. It's, be it's, it's stunning. I can't get over it. So let me know down in the comments if you would um, consider. I know some of you wear wigs because you've told me. But yeah, you know, if you haven't tried a wig, would you? And I can highly recommend um, Irresistible Me. And they have got a sale on at the moment. So with my discount code, you'll save even more money. And they are such good quality. Oh, they feel, it just feels incredible. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for tuning in today and watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and join my little YouTube family. I do all sorts of things around here. I do hauls, fashion, beauty, try-ons, travel, a bit of everything lifestyle so yeah it'd be great to have you join my youtube family and let me know what you think of my new backdrop i've um invested in a few little pieces of um backdrops so i've bought like a frame and some scenes that i can sit in front of and i thought this was quite spring like you know for um doing my makeup videos and stuff instead of just looking at the wall and the doors i just thought it was yeah a little bit of something different. I think, you know, if you want to make quality videos and you want your channel to grow, you've got to invest a little bit, haven't you, in certain things. And I've also got a, a studio light here, which I think has helped with the lighting, even though my little one went off halfway through. That's more so for me in the mirror putting my makeup on. But this one, I think it's really helped with the lighting. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go. And thank you again for joining me and spending some time with me. And I will see you all in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. I love you guys loads. You know this. Ta-ra,